There are nearly 785,000 battery electric vehicles on UK roads as of the end of May 2023. That's a 31% uplift on 2022. And when you look back to just 2016, there were only just over 30,000 battery electric vehicles on UK roads. So we've seen a huge uptake of electric vehicles, particularly in the last couple of years. If the current run rate continues, we could see as many as 1 million battery electric vehicles by the end of this year. But are there enough public charges for all these EVs? Well, up to May, there were just under 44,000 public charges. And of those, nearly 8,500 are rapid or ultra rapid chargers. And again, if we look back to 2016, we only had 823 rapid charges compared to now where we have over 5,000 rapid and over 3,300 ultra rapid charges. So a tenfold increase in just six and a half years. And these numbers are live charges available now. There were also many more charges in construction or constructed and just awaiting the grid connection. You just have to follow the press to see that the Department of Transport, charge brain operators and car manufacturers are committing millions and millions of pounds towards building the infrastructure over the coming years. We're seeing some fantastic hubs springing up all over the country. But where are all the charges currently? If we look at the stats, nearly 31% of all charges are in the Greater London region followed next by the South East at around 13%, and then surprisingly Scotland at 9%. At the other end of the scale, we have Wales and the North East, both under 5%. This may look like an imbalance, but this has been driven by demand and where CPOs can get their best return. But what's the everyday reality like out there? Well, we're certainly seeing some very busy hubs at peak times, but equally hubs can be empty at other times. There's no doubt we need more charges at motorway services, and these are coming. We need more destination charges in car parks and shopping centres, not just one or two. But importantly, over 60% of UK households have access to off-road parking, and some rarely need to charge on public charges, and some have access to charging at work. So are all these EV chargers enough? Well, I'd say most of the time, yes, but there will be pinch points which will undoubtedly make the headlines. What we do need, more importantly, is a reliable network.